Hi, this is Halal. In this video on a mathematical economic series, we will start a new chapter that is matrix algebra or linear algebra. Now, this linear algebra permits expression of a complicated system of equations in a simplified way. If we have a system of linear equations like 4x1 plus 6x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 14, similarly, we have the second equation and third equation. This matrix algebra permits us or helps us to express those system of linear equations in a simplified way or in a matrix form. This matrix form is the simplified version of this system of linear equations. So in the subsequent videos, we will see how to convert a system of linear equations in a matrix form. Second, it provides a shorthand method to determine whether a solution exists before it is attempted. Now this linear algebra or matrix algebra provides us a shortcut method to determine whether a solution exists before it is actually attempted that is to say uh, that is to say we get a, an idea whether a solution exists or not before we actually try to solve the system of equations so we don't have to mess up with the whole setup we can we can see whether the solution exists before we actually try to solve the system of equations so it minimizes the call uh, mi minimizes the uh, process of uh, process of solving the system of linear equations the third one is uh, it uh, furnishes the means of solving the equation system now when we uh, got that the system of linear equations has a solution or there exists a solution then it helps us to solve the equation system that is to say uh, it helps us to solve the system of equations provided that the solution exists there exists a solution now this uh, matrix algebra can be applied to system of linear equations only so this can be applied only to the system of linear equations a linear equation is a one where the degree of the variable is one that is the highest power of a variable is one here we can see the highest power is one because x to the power one is here uh, the exponent is one similarly here also the exponent is one here also the exponent one so these are the linear equations so we can use the matrix algebra only to the system of linear equations but there are many economic relationships that can be approximated by linear equations and others can be converted to linear relationships thus the limitation can be uh, this limitation can be averted easily that is to say if we have a non-linear function that is z is equal to let us say x to the power 0 0.5 divided by uh, y to the power 0 0.2 uh, let us say now uh, this is a non-linear function we can convert this non-linear function uh, into a linear one by taking log on both sides that is log of z is equal to this now this will become 0 0.5 log of x minus uh, 0 0.2 log of y now this is the linear equation now we can use the matrix algebra on this linear equation now how how to convert the non-linear uh, non-linear function into a linear function we have covered this whole stuff in the logarithm portion in this mathematical economic series now let us have a real life example for a company with several different shops selling several different products a matrix provides concise way of keeping track of records now if i have a company and it, the company has three shops shop first second third in every shops there is an amount of uh, pencils go, uh, books and markers now this uh, helps us to keep track of the stock that is to say by reading uh, across a row of the matrix this is the matrix uh, this system now by reading across the row of the matrix the, uh, the company can determine the level of stock of any of its shops now here we can see in the uh, shop first total uh, level of stock is 4 plus 3 plus is uh, 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 7 similarly in shop 2 we have 5 plus uh, 1 plus 7 that is 13 similarly here 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 6 is 12 so by reading across this uh, across the matrix the 
company can determine the level of stock of any of its shop similarly by reading down by reading down a column of the matrix the company can determine the stock of any line of its products now we can see the number of pencils uh, uh, the company has in all three shops that is 2 plus 1 plus 4 that is 7 similarly here it is 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 4 is 11 and 3 plus 7 plus 6 that is 12 so every element in a matrix has a unique position and every element is ordered according to its position so this matrix helps us uh, to simplify the system of linear equations uh, 